I was amazed. So you I awarded two it. contracts in three days. Two contracts in three days, and, and yeah. So question: How much? Was, I mean, if you mind sharing, how much was you don't got to make your profit, but how much was your award letter for the first one? The uh, first one was fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. How much was your second award letter? Second one's fifty thousand two hundred. Fifty thousand two hundred. So yeah, yeah. Sixty five, sixty five thousand two hundred. You've been awarded in contract. Yeah, yeah. It's a. It, What's up? Do me a favor, put six figures, six figures in the comments. Nobody's doing it like the contracting blueprint. We are gonna hit you over the head over and over and over again with people who are winning federal government contracts because of our training. Stay tuned. We got another six figures in earnings in very, very short time. Chris, uh, welcome to the Winner Circle, by the way, guys. Whoever's tuning in, this is the Winner Circle interview students who are having success and winning contracts, all that good jazz. So Chris, you attended Submit More Offers, what, three? Well, uh, April 10th to the 14th. April 10th to the 14th. It was a five or VIP or general mission? Well, was a first I started with general mission on Monday, that because mm -hmm. it's only an hour long. But mm -hmm. then I heard about your VIP and I thought I needed more info. So I joined the, I joined the VIP. You know, small, small fee for what I just got. So, <laughs> I can't wait to hear the numbers. <laughs> yeah. Small well, fee. Um, okay. So then uh, go ahead. So you, you you attended in April and then what happened? What did you do have after that? So, yeah. So attended April, I didn't submit anything. I just, I was doing what you recommended. Go out and just uh, research sam.gov and, and look for it. I, I was diligently, I was on fire looking for all these things. I made me a list mm -hmm. uh, of all the, uh, all the, the contracts I thought I could talk to. I didn't mm -hmm. want to get into something I couldn't talk about because I don't want to, you know, get with somebody or give it a sub and say, hey, I don't know about this, but I'm just going to send it in. So mm -hmm. I was looking for, you know, yard maintenance. I was looking for cleaning. I was looking for some uh, things that I think I could talk to. Um, I, I have a mechanical background of uh, my current job and, and my past. So I thought I would get something with that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had more, you know, more training. Uh, the VIP got to the end, and uh, I was nervous to submit. I, I have to admit that. Um, but I went ahead and submitted and didn't hear nothing. I submitted one, I submitted two. Um, I went back and checked on it. It was closed. So I figured, well, I didn't get that. Mm -hmm. um, so I submitted a third, a fourth, and a fifth. So mm -hmm. one thing I did was um, I submitted to things that I thought that I possibly could win. Now, I know that's a little, there's, what are there, 90,000, 100,000 out there? Mm -hmm. um, contracts waiting to be bid on. But I got something that I really thought I might have a good shot at. So I put those in. Um, I kept in touch with the subs, talked to them, told them the whole story. I mean, I told them everything was going on. Mm -hmm. I have a customer. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm the, uh, the middleman. Uh, I asked them up front. This may not be something you want to share, but I says, really? are you registered with stand up they go no i'm not i says well i am and i can get you a contract if we work together okay. so i so i went with that mm -hmm. uh, that that also made me feel uh, better that uh, we were working as a team yeah that's, that's so, fine that's fine go ahead so that was april um what's this now we're june so about three weeks ago um i on one of the on one of the contracts i submitted to forbid i got a call back and asked, um, mm -hmm. does your, are you a, are you a, is it your company or do you have a sub? And I, I said, oh, I have a sub. You told and the I, truth. Okay. Yeah, I told the truth and he asked yeah. for the name. I gave him the name. They were actually two hours from the contract and he says, okay. And I, that's, it was short and sweet on the email. So, uh, I said, I got to call it. It was an email. Uh, and then, so I talked to my sub, I go, Hey, <laughs> they asked about you. Uh, are you sure? Uh -huh. You could do this work, right? And they go, yeah. I said, are you available these dates? I go, yeah. Oh, yeah. They also asked, are they aware of it? Said, uh, you need to get it done in three weeks, the job. And so I asked them that, of course, before I answered. And he says, yeah, we, they're going to get, they get done in two days. <laughs> okay. But anyhow, um, I sent that in. And three days later, I heard back from them. Oh, I did hear back. I got an email. I saw them come across my email. And I was like, 10, 4, to 14, 49. What did yeah. it say? It said you've been awarded. You've been awarded. It just actually this one. He says, "Look, look at the 
attached for the contract uh, for the uh, let's look look at the attachment for the war letter for the contract number number number. So I opened it and there it was my company name, the job, everything, the amount. Signed these was it thirty A B and C or twenty A B and C? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fill those out, send it in, and I was nervous, so I started. I think I asked you, "Hey, do, do I send this one page in, or do I, I like, send yeah. all twenty-eight? Uh -huh. And you said, "No, just send it one page." I sent that one in. I'm like, "Yeah." So I talked to my sub and started getting things together. Two days later, I heard from my <laughs> a second <laughs> a second proposal I sent in, and uh -huh. an email, and I got the same form, a fourteen forty-nine. I go, "There it is." And he even said. All you gotta do is fill out these three <laughs> blocks, send it back, uh -huh. and I, I'm like, I was amazed. So you I awarded two it. contracts in three days. Two contracts in three days, and, and I'm embarrassed to say this, but I only, I only uh, submitted five bids. That's five. That was, <laughs> but, I, but I have like two pages full of what? Well, yeah. So question: How much? Was, I mean, if you mind sharing, how much was? You don't gotta make your profit. But how much was your award letter for the first one? The uh, first one was 15,000. 15,000. 15, how much was your second award letter? Second one's 50,200. 50,200. So yeah, yeah. 65, 65,200 you've been awarded in contract. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it, it, <laughs> little nervous and then um so these aren't service well they yeah, one's a service. Oh yeah, what are they? Services. What are they for? What are they for? Okay, one's to clean a water tower in okay. Iowa. Okay. So, and it's by a company. Let me ask you a question. Chris, do you live in Iowa? No. Chris, I live in have, Texas. You, have you ever cleaned a water tower before? No. <laughs> but you won a $15,000 contract to clean a water tower. How's that possible? <laughs> I, 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 I followed your technique. I pulled up the zip code. I looked in the area. I did some research. There was one two hours away. And that's who they clean water towers. Get believe it or not. You know, so, um, I didn't even know there were companies that clean water towers. I, I didn't even know that. I didn't either. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad I found somebody that did. I would rather have somebody. And he he knew all the all the things that were on the statement of work. He knew everything that they were talking about. And he said they could do it. I mean, there's one thing that we missed because I, I looked it over at something. You got to look over a statement of work really close. Right. Because one part in there said, um, uh, after he gave me his first proposal, we went over to statement of work again. And I found a part about how to send the water out to get samples tested. He mm -hmm. didn't see that. So he changed his bid and he, it, it went up like $5,000, his bid. Oh, okay. So, uh, okay. That was a big, important thing. So uh, we went over it again and mm -hmm. I think we got everything covered. So something like that, there's, there's you know, the fine details of the statement yeah. of work, but he puts it all out there. And just so I'm clear. So it's, it's two contracts is seven. You've been awarded 70,000. What's the total? 15, 15, 15 and 50. Uh, fifty thousand two hundred and fifteen thousand. Oh, fifty thousand two hundred. Got it. 60, like, got it. Sixty-five two hundred. Yeah, about yeah, uh, about yeah. sixty-five two hundred. Yeah. And you you invested how much in the VIP ticket? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what was that? A hundred dollars? I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> you can hey, you can you can always just you know I'll invoice you later. You don't worry about <laughs> it. I'll invoice you later. I got well, you. Don't worry about it. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there, the second one is. This is kind of funny, but maybe this is my this is my luck. That's that's why the second one I reached out to a guy. Okay, this is the this is in Colorado. I'm not from Colorado. I'm gonna say, do you live in Colorado? No, no. I don't. Okay, I looked around and did the same technique. There's no better way to do a zip code search, and then just if you if if you can use a map and you can do Google, you know you can find it around. It's just I what they needed. They were replacing at this um, uh, this forestry in the forest in a, in a a, a park, state park. What are they doing? Where at? Well, I said, what are they doing? What is it for? They're replacing some shutters for some bathrooms that are on in this park off the off the road, like a rest area. Okay. And like in the winter when it snows, they put these shutters down to to protect the uh, bathroom and all that. Got it. So they replaced they they, they replaced about every four years. I just got the same guy who did the one before that. <laughs> he. He, I, I mean that that's his luck and he he's such a great guy we were talking working together you know again there's no secrets he knew what i was doing you know he didn't want to, he didn't want to bother with sam.gov he even knew the guy personally okay so what's good about this sam.gov they have to you know award these through 
through this contract system, right? Yeah, yeah. So the technical rep from the forest asked him if he would like to, you know, replace the doors if you got if you've got time to do that. Yeah. Well, meanwhile, I reached out to him and say, hey, I got this uh, contract that they're looking to change doors. Uh -huh. And the guy's name's Gary. He says, he says, yeah, I just talked to Danny. The and so -so. Yeah. Yeah. So it had to go through me and I'm just the lucky one that I got a hold of it. So you get so, paid as a middleman and he was going to do it anyway. He would have replaced the doors anyway because he did it he last time. He would have. But the government can't hire him. Because he's not on Sam.gov. He got put into yeah. the system, right? Right. He's got to go through the proper channels to get the contract. Right. Wow. So, so that, it, that's that 50,200 50, to replace shutters. Yes. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one I'm gonna have to put half down. I've already got some things lined up for that, so, uh, uh -huh. so you know, he can order the materials. So gotcha. Pretty exciting. Um, and that happened. I'm on. I'm on. You know, I'm on the road with my. Yeah. What? So what do you? Job. What do you do if people don't know? Like, okay, Chris, you it sound like you got a busy schedule. You're on the road. You're not even. You're in Texas, but you're from Oklahoma, right? Or was it the, no, the other way around? You from, from Oklahoma, Texas. but you're in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Right now I'm, I'm in Oklahoma. I work for an aerospace company. Mm -hmm. And I'm a uh, quality uh, inspector, mm -hmm. so I'll have to go to different uh, suppliers and inspect their parts and give them approval to uh, you know to ship them to wow. to my, uh, to my uh, company. So would you say you have a very busy job? Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> I mean, you're traveling around the country. <laughs> my uh, my wife even asked me, "Hey, how's how while I'm away? How's your uh, side business going?" I says, "Well, I haven't submitted nothing." Because I'm afraid if I get contacted, I'm, I'm going to miss the email or not be able to contact them back. And mm -hmm. so it's uh, these already were in the system. So when I all I did is when I heard back, I just kept the ball rolling. But once I get back home, I'm going to start putting some more bids in. I, I've collected. I'm, I'm building up my list. So uh, there's one more I'm waiting for. Uh, I have I went and checked up on it, and it said it's still open. It hasn't been awarded. So Ooh, what's what's yeah. what's what's the amount? If you were to get it, how much is oh, that? That one? that one is close to hundred. Yeah, hundred thousand. Yeah, that, that one, and that's, yeah, and that's uh, not even with my, uh, uh, my, uh, uh, we, uh, your 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 portion, your profit, your profit. Yeah, right. yeah, that, yeah. And I want everyone to know that this is all. Obviously, we're talking about gross revenue. Your profit is a little bit different. I want everyone to make sure they're clear on sure. that. But right. still, I mean, from an investment of hitting me up for a five day challenge and now making you know sixty five two hundred in revenue and. Technically, three days in being awarded, but you hit it in April. So what? You know, we're two yeah, months. Right. Took you two months. Yeah. To be that, awarded that, sixty-five thousand two hundred. That probably doesn't happen. <laughs> I've heard some stories, and that, you know that's not typical, but I'll take yeah. it. And yeah. what's nice about it is too is uh, it's really given me a lot of experience. Yeah, you know, a lot of experience on how to negotiate, how to talk to the uh, the COs, how to talk to the subs, following up. I mean, there is a, it's a process and you really got to stay on top of it so you don't lose it. So like yep. I, like I, I may have mentioned earlier, um, I have a conference call next week with the yep. CEO, the point of contact and your sub, uh, yep. right. So we're yep. going to sit down and, uh, you know, hammer everything out. So that's good. That's awesome, Chris. Well, congratulations to you, man. Well, I appreciate it. I mean, you, you were a big influence. Uh, you know, I had tried this years ago. And I just didn't know where to go. I baited LLC and I was lost. Then I ran across your TikTok. I followed you. I listened to some of your lives. And I finally joined the uh, five-day challenge. I missed a couple other five-day challenges. Finally did it and wrote, took all the notes. And, uh, you know, and you're there all the time, too. So I appreciate it. You know, some, some simple questions you were answering. You know, you get back in a day or two. So I appreciate yep. it. You're welcome. You're welcome, Chris. So you would highly recommend people to sign up for the five-day challenge? I certainly that's the minimum sign up five day challenge. And, uh, yeah. I've got a little experience. I think, uh, if they went for the, uh, the mentorship, go for it. You know, yeah. God, it'd, be, it'd be a surprise of how fast they could get there. I'm sure. So you attended, uh, what was challenge? The five day challenge. Which one? This March from February. Which one? I think it was, I think it was February. February. Okay. So the I, first one I, I started February, March, April, May. The first one. Yeah, I, I think so. February. Okay. So you attended the five day challenge in February. Did you do general or VIP? No, it, it might've been March, but I, I did the, I did the VIP. You did VIP. Okay. Got you. Okay, cool. So you did that. So tell me what happened now. So you did that. How many proposals did you submit? What happened? I said, I submitted about, um, 
five. This is my this is my fifth one. This is your you only submitted five proposals. I did. Okay, and then you won. You just won your first one. Yeah, I won it on the fifth one that I submitted. Oh my goodness! Are you okay? So let me just I'm gonna make sure people understand this. Like, where's my pen at? March right now. It's it's May. Like, come on now. Like, <laughs> you only submitted five. Okay. Yeah. So what did you win? Uh, it was a lawn care services for the U.S. Coast Guard. Mm -hmm. uh, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's it's only a I think six month contract. Mm -hmm. Don't know. Don't I don't know if there's going to be any option to renew. To be honest, I think um, the contracting officer is might be new. The solicitation was it wasn't even a solicitation. It, it's it was a source of thought. You want a source of thought? What? Yeah, it was a source of thought. Get out of here. So you responded, expressed interest, and then what happened? No, no, it was so it was titled as a source of thought. And then uh -huh. everything, everything in there in the performance work statement was as if it was a solicitation. So I, I, I set it up, started making my phone calls, calling up vendors and stuff like that. So, and I emailed the, the contracting officer clarifying, Hey, is this a source of thought or is this an actual announcement? Mm -hmm. And she says, no, it's an actual announcement, but I couldn't figure out how to. They didn't know how to label it, it correctly. They didn't know how to label it. What? <laughs> so you probably had low competition because people thought it was source of thought then. Okay. And also people yeah, don't know what I, people don't I, know what that I, I, is. We'll find out. You'll yeah. find out in the five day challenge. Okay, so how yeah. much was the award for? Uh the award was for uh sixteen thousand dollars. Okay, nice, nice. Um yeah, it's it's pretty much yard work. It's it's yeah, it's a it's, the building kind of looks small from the GPS. It's just mm -hmm. a small facility. So, you know, mowing, trimming, uh yeah. maintaining the, the trees and shrubs. Nice. Uh, some some mulch. Yeah. Not more than that likely, hard. so if it's landscaping, more than likely, I, I have a landscaping contract, and it's six months out of each year. So more than likely, you probably have some options. It's probably more like a five-year deal, more than likely. But you don't, you don't know right now whether it's five years or not. I don't know right now. Okay, okay. Well, congratulations, man. First of all, Thank now you. tell Thank people you. what do you, what do you do? Like, were you, are you at a, are you at a car dealership? Or are you at a you sell? No, houses? Yeah. I actually, uh, I'm a project manager for a sheet metal uh contractor subcontract so um uh yeah we pretty much uh you know we we provide estimates and we install sheet metal for different you know projects okay. mixed use commercial buildings but that's you know that's what i'm doing it's a family business but i've uh it's uh, there's a lot of things that are similar into what i do here i mean i i put together bids uh you know i i, I price things out through vendors and then i submit it to the general contractor which in and Sam would be like the the government, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then once we're awarded, now as a pro project manager level, now it's it's kind of uh, kind of the same <laughs> thing. Now I just have to manage the project. So where where are you uh, located, and where's the project located? Uh, at? I'm located in East Los Angeles right now, mm -hmm. and the project is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. <laughs> you, have you ever seen the grass? <laughs> Never seen the grass. Have you ever been to Wisconsin or for this contract? Oh, that's beautiful man okay well hey that's the first of many man that's the first of many now now you just gotta rinse and repeat and do it over and over again have you submitted some since that since you sent one that first one i have submitted a, a couple there's a you know there's there's one for hay in el paso uh there's one that i'm working on for uh sheep shearing you know the, the usd needs mm -hmm. to find people to, to shear their the sheep um I, I saw that little janitorial one you you emailed out kind of mm -hmm. looking at vendors for that one so mm -hmm. uh it, it's it's kind of tough you know having the nine to five especially since um since a lot of i mean a lot of the ones that i want to bid they're in the east coast and the phone calls that i have to make to vendors are during working hours so it's mm -hmm. it's kind of tough you know uh i've been making phone calls during my you know on my way to work or during lunchtime and Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. But as soon as it all picks up, you know, I'm trying to get a few contracts and I can take more time off of this job and focus on the contracting. Yep. Yep. That's all it takes. Yeah, I know you're the reverse because I'm in Ohio. It was kind of the reverse for me. For my first contract was California, Oregon, Las Vegas, because eight o'clock here, you guys are still five o'clock there. So yeah, it all worked yeah. out for me. Yeah. yeah so, all awesome. reverse. Yeah, that's true. 
Okay, man. Well, congrats, man. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy for you. Seriously. Seriously. Okay. It was it was it was a crazy experience. Um, I started getting little little hints that you know I was going to be awarded. I think the first like two weeks ago, I um, I got an email just clarifying my my proposal and uh, asking me to to modify one of the line items. So I'm still I wasn't sure. I was like, am I going to get awarded? Mm-hmm. And then I got I was in I was in Vegas that following weekend and <laughs> uh, I got. A, I got a phone call and it said on the phone, U.S. Coast Guard. And so I was like, oh, I got excited. I was like, I have to take this call. And <laughs> right when I right when I answered the phone call, I was eating at a restaurant. And the waitress spilled my coffee all over me. What? And so I'm, tra- <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to juggle this phone call. And I'm, I'm not even, like, everything is going on in my head right now. But I was, like, so excited. And they pretty much asked me if I, if I accepted credit card payments. I was like, yeah, sure, sure, no problem. But they still didn't tell me that I was awarded the contract, and then, <laughs> and then come mon- come Monday, I got that email, the official email saying, you've been "Congratulations, you've been awarded." Um, but still, I, I think the the contracting officer must be new. You know, they spelled first, they put the wrong company on there on the contract first, so I had them corrected. They spelled my name wrong. They they put the wrong dates. They put September thirty first when there's no there's no thirty first in September. You know. Oh that kind my of stuff. god! Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <I just, laughs> but, but you got it, man. Yeah. That's just the How's it feel? It feels pretty good. Yeah. You know, it's really encouraging. It was a lot of, a lot of the work paid off. I think, um, you know, the biggest hurdle that probably people face is just those initial steps. You know, signing up for, to get their LLC, getting yeah. their EIN. How long and did it take then, me to get the cage code? um cage code it um there was there was a couple that i wanted to submit submit and i wanted to have my cage code right away so instead of waiting the two weeks i i ended up calling um whoever authorizes cage, code, cage codes and i got it in like uh like two or three days oh good because so, you called them i tell people all the I time called, good good I called them and it's it's funny because um the company that i'm working for now they're going through the the same issue they have a contract that was awarded to them but they're required to be registered in sam uh-huh. and their registration uh-huh. expired so they're they're kind of shuffling and i'm kind of helping them through the process and uh-huh. i was like hey when it comes time to get your cage cord just let me know and i'll you know you i'll make a phone you, call you like i'm the expert on seeing i got a government <laughs> contract with the u.s coast guard i know what i'm doing now come on now yeah. <laughs> yeah. the u.s coast guard called you oh man yeah man well congrats bro Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, seriously, man. Seriously. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, if you're ever ready to lock in with the mentorship, just reach out to me. Let me know. We'll talk about that later. But just keep doing what you're doing, man. You're you're on your way. Seriously. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Wes. Okay. All right, David. Well, hey, man, I'm gonna let you go. Um, you're you're my last, you're my one today. So I'm gonna let you go. Thank Perfect. you so much for being on. We got as the saying goes. If your circle doesn't inspire you, you don't have a circle, you have a cage. Hey, listen, if you want to plug into the training that everyone's going through, click the link below. We may have a challenge coming up. You can also join there. Uh, You may even be able to book a call with my team and myself to discuss how you can get started in government contracting. So if you need some support on getting started, obviously you got YouTube University. Check out all the videos on my channel. But when you're ready to be serious and take the next step, Just click the link below and we'll see you at one of the challenges. All right, peace.